It is with great pleasure that despite this pandemic that has uh, created a very difficult situation for all of us globally, we have come to an understanding that even as we protect ourselves, even as we protect our health, we have to also understand that the world doesn't stop. The game must continue, the show must continue, and we must continue to see how do we get out of this together. And I want to congratulate you, Mr. President, for the understanding that uh, no single country can deal with this alone. This is a global fight. This is a global war, and we can only win together. No single country can win this battle alone. We are here to tell you of the opportunities that exist in Kenya, the opportunities that exist within our young people, and how by closely collaborating, we can actually lift ourselves as a continent and as a country out of poverty, but at the same time create opportunities for young people, create opportunities for entrepreneurs to be able to tap into this wealth and mighty potential that the African continent has, which is our young people. I tell people all the time, we look at the African continent sometimes from a perspective of its natural wealth, the gold, the diamonds, the oil, the gas. But what we tend not to see is what is the true African potential. And the true African potential is our young men and women and the capacity they have to participate with you to build a greater and better world for all of us. It's been a great pleasure working with Emmanuel over the last few years. I believe he's a man who is understanding that the future of France on the African continent does not necessarily reside in its history, but in the potential that Africa has for mutual prosperity as we work together to build our respective economies, grow prosperity. We know we have huge problems, for example, with regard to migration that make people have this feeling or this understanding that all that Africa can contribute is migrants. But you must ask yourself, why do these young men and women risk their lives to cross thousands of miles of land, risk their lives to cross the waters of the Mediterranean? It is in search of opportunity. It is in search of opportunity. But imagine the power of us working together, of tapping that opportunity while it is still in Africa. A chance, therefore, of creating a prosperous proposition for all of us, while at the same time ensuring the safety, the security, and the peace of our two continents. This is why I'm here and I'm looking forward to having fruitful engagement with each and every one of you as we tell you of the opportunities that exist in Kenya, that exist in Africa, and the potential of us working together into the future. I thank you very much, Emmanuel. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Technology is an area where I think you can tap into great potential when we do business processes outsourcing where there exists potential. Because the one thing that uh, one must recognize is that we were late in joining the technology advancement. So we don't have the, the, um, the baggage or the backlog of having old infrastructure. We were able to leapfrog and to jump a stage and reach into uh, uh, newer technologies. And that is why, for example, mobile penetration uh, in Kenya, for example, is now almost 98%. The majority of our population, for example, was unbanked. And it therefore made innovation that much more attractive. Mobile money all of a sudden became the most important way for uh, our people to access financial services. And today, as a result of technology, Kenya has moved from 
a position less than 10 years ago where only 30% of our population was banked, to now almost 90% of our population that is banked through mobile money. And through there, the introduction of different services, from insurance services to uh, uh, um, different apps that uh, provide various uh, governmental services. For example, we use mobile technology to offer more than 200 different uh, uh, services uh, to our people in a much more affordable manner, in a much more reachable manner. So technology and the development of applications is an area of huge potential. Second, we are also talking about an infrastructure gap. Huge potential existing on the continent in terms of connectivity, road, rail, uh, um, uh, infrastructure. Just yesterday, myself and uh, President Macron witnessed the signing of uh, a contract with one of your uh, big uh, uh, companies here who are investing 1.3 uh, million, 1.3 billion euro into uh, uh, road projects. A road project and the first and the largest um, road project done by private sector. Usually we're here banging on uh, Emmanuel's door seeking financial assistance. But it was wonderful yesterday to see the private sector step up and have the confidence to invest in Kenya, to invest in infrastructure, with the realization that the returns are going to be good, with the understanding that with the stability that we have in our country, their investments are safe. So once again, we encourage you to look at this um, infrastructure shortfall and see that not as a negative aspect, but a huge opportunity for French investors as well. The financial sector, like I'm saying, through mobile money is another sector. The service sector that is rapidly growing is also another sector. And as Africa starts to go under the Africa free trade arrangement, there also exist huge opportunities in manufacturing. You're talking about a population on the African continent in excess of one billion people who need everything from toothbrush to toothpaste to shoes to socks. This is another huge opportunity that exists there and using our ability now as an African continent to come together, there is a huge opportunity in manufacturing for European and especially French companies in this particular instance. So these are just but a few areas that I think with greater cooperation, with greater trust and with greater understanding of each other could be opened to uh, French entrepreneurs. You run a wonderful country. I was the first, pres the first French president to visit it, which is crazy, but this is it. And you run it marvelously. You have to deal with COVID-19, with a lot of issues, but you decided to come to France for this event. I want to tell you. Because I, I propose to Mr. President to come and see French entrepreneurs, SMEs, mid and large caps, and to have a, an open discussion. Because I, I do believe it's extremely important, both for France and Kenya, to have a better knowledge of each other. And to see all the opportunities you can find in this country, but as well, how our French companies can bring something to your country. Provide our solutions, our innovations, our entrepreneurship, and be part of your success.